I got a really good friend of mine that I just met. His name is Michael. Say what's up, dude. What's up? So, I've been born and raised in East Fort Myers. I've been out here a long time. Michael's been out here in these streets. So, I felt compelled today to just stop, make sure he was okay. We got him a little bit of things that he needed. And I asked him if he'd be willing to tell a story. And um, believe it or not, he would. So, how long have you been out in these East Fort Myers streets? Well, I've been on these streets ever since I was seven. Oh, yeah. 17? No, I've been on the streets seven years. Seven years? Ever since I was 18 years old. Dog. I am 24. Like, like you are now? Like how we just met like that? Yeah. That's, damn. Like I've been on the streets. I've been back and forth. 2014, um... I winded up being homeless at Fort Myers Beach. Um, so, so it started at Fort Myers Beach? That's where it, it kicked that's off? Where it, that's where it kicked off. Do you remember what had happened? Like everything was... Just like throwing it all away out there. And all the fans that you hang around with think they're fans. They're not. That's right. On Fort Myers Beach, I stayed at the Lalakai for about two and a half months. Um, How'd you end up out east? Just migrated, just worked yeah. your way, right? Panhandled my way through. Uh huh. And what happened was, is I stayed homeless at Fort Myers Beach, and a woman named Benita Joe Ray picked me up from the street and raised me. But I was on drugs and alcohol back then. And right. What kind of drugs? Well, it was cocaine. Yeah. But yeah, about that stem part. Once you hit that stem. It, <coughs> you hooked it's yeah it's not a like she helped me and i fucked up i uh -huh. went out with a friend and got drunk and winded up going back to our apartment where we stayed and stole money from her from her safe underneath the box damn so she showed you love and then yeah yeah that's like my so you wine. stole from her and that was the end of that winded up buying me a motel room at the lalakai with the money and you know i felt good for myself but on the other hand i kind of felt bad because you know i I took from someone that showed, showed love. you love, man. And that's rare, dog, out here, it's, right? It's really rare. And especially out here in Riverdale, you know, you don't. East Fort Myers, mm hmm. You don't get much love. Nah. I don't even get much love in my recovery movement out here. So I can only imagine the I'm jammed up, help me out, out there like that, like how we just met kind of thing. When I was 18, I. Started migrating to downtown Fort Myers. I started to hang out with two of these guys I met in downtown by Centennial Park. And we started breaking into the cars and parking garages. And yeah, for real. So you were just hitting licks, basically. Yeah. Just just trying to compensate. Were you still on the Were you still on the hard at that time? You no, know, I was no. on weed and I was on alcohol. And at the time, I was basically on... You know, basic computer duster and right, right, just um, whatever. And, um, yeah, meth, aerosols, yeah. a little bit of meth, whatever, right? If anybody has, let's try yeah. it, right? Okay. And uh, I ended up going to jail. I went to jail for a year on Ortiz, and um, but they gave me 18 months probation, and I violated that. After but, doing a year? Yeah. So they gave you a fresh year, then you got out and violated. Damn, bro. And there was a burglary. I ended up breaking into parking garage again. Uh huh. And getting that knocked. was the hot spot. Right. Back then in downtown, all that was just hell for me. Sure. Like living the same thing. It was like the same thing over and over and over. Back in jail. And like I was so close to where you at. I was right this far away from where you was at which is why I stopped and talked to you and grabbed you and, and stuff. But like, I guess if you were to get up out the streets, how would that happen? Like what, like I don't want hundreds of people to experience the, the, the dark times that me and you have, right? Because yeah. dog, when you out there doing what we used to doing, bro, that shit don't make you feel good on the inside. No. You know what I'm saying? That's some degrading shit sometimes. Being out there holding that sign. Yeah, you're bro. sitting there, you're sweating, your back holding, your neck holding. You know, it's not fun standing out there flying a sign. Right. I'm not doing it for fun. Right. I'm not doing it just to do it. I'm doing it to survive. Right. 
you know. And, and some days you said it's crazy, bro. You said you was at five dollars or something, ten dollars or something. And some days it winds up me having back pain because, believe it or not, in my life I have been hit by several vehicles. I heard you got hit out this way. Yes, I have. Yeah. I got hit. Got down. clipped or something. Right here on Buckingham. And then right on Orange River, I got clipped by a gray Toyota. So I was trying to cross the street back to my friend Frank and tell him. Right, when I reached the right arrow, it turned the green light. My Coleco vision, I did not see the gray Toyota coming. I tried to jump it, but it hit me in midair. And I flew about a good eight, nine feet. Well, I got Michael, right? What can Michael do to get up out the streets? Like, if you could give the next homeboy any advice or the next homegirl that runs across this video that I'm really thankful and, and, and proud of you to get on camera with me, if you could offer somebody advice to get up out the streets, like, like you were 24 and you started at 17, so you got like six or seven years. So like that shit is programmed in your brain, basically, right? You just get up, okay. And you said you were able to stay, you're staying with some peoples or whatever, and you bounce around as needed when needed as, you know, relationships expire or yeah. swell and go whatever. Like, like, are, is this it forever, dog? I don't know how long I'm going to last out here on these streets. Right, because seven years, dog, you've already, ex you're, you're already way past the average I life mean, expectancy. I mean, I've tried getting jobs. I mean, right. I haven't. In my life, I haven't, this is this is not what I do in my life. I wake up, I come out here and panhandle. No, I wake up, I sign up for a job, and then I come out here and panhandle. Right, so what you do, like um, workforce or something like that, or? Something like that, I try to figure out which jobs like Wendy's and McDonald's could hire me. Right. But, so that I don't have to come back out here. Right. But, you know, all in all, I've been living on the streets and stuff. I've stayed underneath I-75 bridge. Yeah. That I had a recline. If you saw a recline underneath there. That was yours? The mattress, that, that was, was me underneath there. Um, but if I want to tell somebody uh -huh. how to not wind up in this situation. Yes, that would be good feedback for the people that are going to view this shit in the future, bro. To not wind up in the situation that I'm in now. Uh-huh. Stay with your family. And stay with the educational needs that you get. Stick with the friends that does no drugs or alcohol. Right, so find family members that love and care about you truly. Yeah. And um, watch your circle, watch your crowd, watch your peoples, right, basically. And watch, watch your surroundings, you know, and just... Stay out of trouble. You know, if you're tempted to grab something and you know and you don't have enough money for it, uh, I'm not advising you, but right. you know, so just walk up to somebody and it's say It's better hey, to ask than to steal. Yeah. You have not because you ask not, right? Instead of just gripping that shit. See, I had a problem back then. Sure, bro. We all did. <laughs> Grabbing it and just walking Yeah, out. man. I remember we had some Jack girls. You send them out there with a grocery list or whatever. <laughs> they coming back with everything 50 cents on the dollar. So, all right, brother. Well, this was an incredible educational video for those bro i appreciate you i i wish you nothing but the best man and um you have a choice basically is what we found and at the end of the day the choice is yours so i really want to give a shout out to my homeboy michael right michael yes sir for doing this amazing video with me this is a heartfelt story and i just want this to help one person if this helps one person even michael himself get up out these streets if it helps the old adam that got up out the streets mission achieved if you stay tuned we'll see you real soon hashtag this is ifi i appreciate you michael make sure you subscribe